So I just create uh, some sample project. Okay. Okay. So I just open the project. Now we don't have any activities here, right? Mm -hmm. Now yes. I'm just going to add an activity. Okay, and we can able to specify the duration. Mm -hmm. Now we can just go for general. Here we can able to see the activity type. Okay. And where we can able to select whatever we want. Yes. See, I am just going to consider this as start milestone activity. When you are clicking start milestone activity, immediately the duration becomes zero. Okay. Because milestone activities can't have any duration. It's just like a milestone. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, it's like an achievement. Yes. Uh, it is just like uh, marking the beginning of a project, something like that. Yeah. It has only the start date. Yes. We can able to assign constraints. See here in status, we can able to. So assign constraints to this uh, start milestone activity. And we can able to assign work products and documents. But one thing we can't able to do in resources, we can't able to add any resources because it is not an activity at all. Uh -huh. It's just an indication one as it starts. Uh, it's just like an indication one. Mm. Okay, the same, it is applicable for finish milestone. And I'm just going for next activity as usual, duration, whatever it is, we can able to input. And now by default, you can able to see it is coming as a task dependent activity. Mm. So what do you mean by task dependent activity in the sense it is purely like depend on the particular activity. It okay. won't depend on the resource calendar. It depends on the activity calendar. Before this okay. activity, we can able to select the activity calendar from here now in general. Mm -hmm. uh, based on that, uh, it will be like uh, uh, proceeding the project. It won't okay. consider the resource calendar at all. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the activities resources are scheduled to work according to the activity, not, uh, not on the resource calendar, okay? So duration is determined by the assigned calendar work week. So here, if you have any other work week, so depends on that, we will get the duration. Okay. Okay, now I'm just going for next one. See here, I'm just uh, having a uh, two bars, right? But you might be having only one bar. So I'm just going for bars and I'm just going for default. Okay. So this is what by default we will be having, right? Yeah. Okay, now I'm just going for next activity and then uh, as usual duration. Now we can just go for resource dependent. Mm. Now we will uh, see what it is resource dependent. Resource dependent in the sense, a particular resource having like a particular calendar, resource calendar, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you are putting this as resource dependent, uh, the activity will consider the availability of resources based on its own calendar, not based on the activity calendar. Right. Uh, can, I, can I repeat that again? No, for resources, we can able to like uh, input the resource calendars. Okay. So that is different. So if you have some calendar here and you have resource calendar of uh, uh, five cross 10, so it will consider the five cross 10, not five cross eight, I mean. Okay. So that is okay. what resource dependent. So the particular activity will going to consider that uh, resources assigned to that activity and uh, availability based on the resource calendar. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, again, I'm just going for uh, level of effort activity. So before that, I'm just going for finish milestone. So this I'm just going to put finish milestone. It's the same as uh, same as a start milestone. Okay, mm. the same. But it is like a typically the end of the used project. to mark the end of a project, right? Yeah. So it can able to have a finish date, like uh, start milestone having start date, end milestone having finish date. Mm -hmm. So same thing, we can able to assign constraints, our products, and we can't able to assign any resources as it is not an activity. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now we will see also the relationships. See, it doesn't have any relationship. See this arrow, you know, this is what the relationship arrow. Huh. What you can do means you can just uh, drag and then drop. See, it is showing the preview, right? Mm -hmm and uh, it is not showing anything, then you should click this one. See relationship line. Okay, then it will show you the relationship. So I am putting, now I'm just going for successor. See for this, otherwise we can just go for relationship, right? In mm -hmm. relationship, for the first activity we have, 
Four, two, two actually we have. Oh. So then we can just delete it, remove. Okay, now I have A1010 as a successor for start milestone and it is having finished to start relationship. Uh -huh. Okay, now I'm just uh, putting, now you can just click this and after you can able to assign from here and you can able to select. By default, it is coming with finish to start. Finish to start, right? Uh -huh. Okay, and then for the next activity, you click and then assign, just click it. So it will automatically come as finish to start. Okay, now we have like a two activity in between having five days and then five days duration. Now after doing this, like after assigning relationship, we should go for scheduling. So scheduling in the sense, we can able to input the date and based on that, our project will be automatically scheduled. So shortcut for that is F9, otherwise we can able to click this. Okay. 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 So I'm just going to put schedule and it is taking the current data date. Okay, current data date, it can't be like a previous. I'm selecting February 1 and select. And we must see what is like a project to start date. So in that case, I'm just going for project. And then I'm just going to see which uh, date it has. See in project, you have a detail window where we can able to go for dates or we can just go for a default. In default, we can able to see like uh, what we have. But uh, in general, Uh, in dates only we have project planned start date. So project planned start date is only 10th on 12 a.m. So mm -hmm. we can able to put a, not 12 a.m. We can able to put the 7 a.m. Because 7 a.m. we are going to start now or 8 a.m. Yeah. So 8 a.m. Then we can able to go for scheduling. So you just go for schedule and you can see here automatically just updating. Yeah. So I'm just going for a one and then select and I'm just going for schedule. See, we can't be able to schedule because data date cannot be earlier than the project plan to start date. Yeah, you cannot so have the start before the start of the thing. Yeah, so we can just start with the 10th of February, 8 a.m. And I'm just going for schedule. See, now we have got our project scheduled. See, total duration becomes 10 days. Before, it might be having only five days. It will take the longest duration first. And mm -hmm. after, uh, based on the critical path, we will be getting the original duration. Yes, okay. Okay, now we can able to see the red color activity we used to call as critical path. So in this path, we should take care of, so our project will be successful. So if any delays or uh, some lags in this critical path, it will affect the whole, pro uh, whole project. Okay. Okay, and here we can able to have that also. For example, right click and then go for column. And then here we can just go for general and where we also have critical. And we can just put here and click okay. Then it will be showing which activity is critical. See now everything becomes critical because it is like a, uh, having only four activities. Yeah. Okay. If it is like a ticket, it is like a critical. We can't be able to uncheck it. It is based on the scheduling. Yeah. Okay. Now, why I scheduled uh, before uh, uh, we should uh, learn what it is like a level of effort activity. So that's why I put scheduled. Now I'm just going to put an activity and then I am just putting some uh, duration here. See, it is like a by default five day duration is coming, yeah. right? Yeah. Now I'm just going to put a predecessor as first start milestone. And I'm just going for successor as finish milestone. No, okay. it can't be the same activity. It should finish milestone. Mm. See, now we have got this now. Now I'm just going for this activity general. And here I can just go for level of effort. See, when you are clicking that activity into level of effort, then here, can you able to notice what happened in Gantt chart? Uh, dashed lines. No, no, dashed line is just like, uh, it's already there, but uh, the New bar, activity is written. The bar like uh, invisible now. Mm. Okay, now to display that, right click and then go for bar. And here you have the level of effort. You need to select it. Okay, mm. remaining level of effort and then apply and then okay. Now you can able to see. Because for level of effort, it is separate. We need to like include in our Gantt chart by clicking the bars. Mm. Uh, what's level of effort? What does it resemble? Uh, actually, you know, like uh, once I schedule and we will see what it is. I will okay. explain there. Now I'm just going for scheduling. So schedule. Now can you able to see like a level of effort? It will take the duration of predecessors and successors. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can able to input something, but after scheduling, it will consider only the total duration in between the activities. Okay. Okay, then we can able to know what it is like a level of effort. Normally, you know, some particular activity like needs some uh, invigilation or uh, supervision, right? Mm -hmm. So you can able to input this kind of level of effort and you can able to just go for like a responsible manager or something like this. 
and then that guy going to take care of those, act those activity like so the total duration depends on the whole activities in between mm -hmm. okay and it is like uh, in spite of uh, long duration it won't be a critical path because it is not an activity it's just like a level of effort see it is not in critical path at all yeah okay so like this uh, some projects we can able to use level of effort also otherwise it is not that much important okay mm -hmm. now i'm just going for what else so totally we seen task dependent resource dependent level of effort start milestone finish milestone right five yeah. uh, now we also have wbs summary wbs summary also similar to level of effort but level of effort what uh, it is in the book like uh, typically used for ongoing task depend on other activities as i told you and determine and duration is determined by predecessor and successor and we can able to put some clerical work or security guard meetings for example meetings we can able to put in level of efforts okay but we can't able to assign any constraints see here when i'm clicking the level of effort i'm just going for a status the constraints is like invisible mm -hmm. okay we can't able to put any constraints to the level of effort activity now i'm just going for another activity now i'm just going to put this as wba summary okay typically use this for summarize the wbs levels so here also we can't able to assign any constraints so i'm just going to put a relationships so assign i'm just going to put only the uh, activities now i am just going for schedule can you able to see that even wb summary also similar to level of effort yes it became critical uh, it is like uh, summarizing the but it is having critical path see now it is under critical path that is only the difference mm -hmm. okay so when it will be useful like when you have multiple activities for one project then this kind of wb summary this kind of level of efforts could be useful to filter purpose or we can able to easily monitor it mm -hmm. okay that's why okay now you aware of like uh, uh, activity types right mm. okay